Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Now, I'm not someone who likes to make a lot of rant videos because I kind of feel like as time goes on, they get a little bit redundant. You're kind of saying the same thing. And I think a lot of us out there that are just trying to get a PlayStation, Xbox, or GPU kind of all understand. You have a lot of issues with the semiconductors, supply chains, whatever it is, we kind of overall get it. But every now and then there's certain marketing things and certain things that Sony themselves go and do. And it kind of infuriates me at least a decent amount enough to want to make this video. Now, of course, this is not the biggest deal. I understand it's just a console as well. I understand that a lot of these things are kind of weird with the world going on right now. So don't worry, I get, I get that before we dive into the video that much. And there always is good news as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But like, what was Sony doing throughout this entire week? What was Sony doing throughout this past three weeks? And the main premise of this rant is going to be on the fact that literally Ratchet and Clank came out technically yesterday and we had had basically zero <laughs> restocks throughout the past like three weeks. What is Sony doing? How do they think this is acceptable? And oh my Lord, you would think that this is the time that Sony would be throwing consoles left and right to get us buying these consoles. So <sighs> before we do the little quick sell, we always do the quick sell, you guys can always skip it. Make sure you guys all are sub for the PS5 giveaway. So at least if you guys are still struggling to get one, I've actually given out a few of them on the channel already, as you guys probably know. So if you guys want to be subbed for that, you guys can enter in with that with the notifications on or whatever. Link tree links for the bonus entries. We do always have the Amazon links down below with the controllers and consoles and all that good stuff. And of course, the Twitter and Twitch. If you guys want to follow, I'll probably be playing a lot of Ratchet and Clank and E3 stuff throughout the weekend on Twitch. If you guys want to hang out there. And lastly, the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. You deposit $100. You guys can get free money. You can just instantly sell everything. And the same thing with Coinbase as well. If you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. Let's talk about it. All right, let me get the first good news out of the way first to kind of get you guys a little bit hyped up here before I go too hard into this rant because this is just annoying. So if you, as you guys probably know, it's been like three weeks since we've had a really good restack. We've had a few of them kind of floating on in. We saw a little bit of Anton line stuff. We saw a little bit of like Best Buy stuff the past few weeks, like a really kind of small target drop a little while ago. But throughout the past few weeks, everything has been insanely dry. We're talking insanely dry. There's been no PS Directs. We've barely been seeing these really big retailers. And we've even actually throughout this entire week, saw a lot of the big retailers kind of skip drops that we were expecting. Same thing with GameStop, where we were pretty highly expecting a drop, and same thing as well with Walmart. On both of those dates, like, we just didn't see anything. The same thing as well with Best Buy. We saw a few drops, like, maybe, like, two weeks ago, if that, but, like, we have basically gotten nothing. So, first of all, if you guys saw our video earlier on throughout today, we actually have been seeing a brand new console going on, a brand new bundle from Sony. So, at least one really quick thing before we go ranting this too much is that maybe we'll be having a lot of good restocks throughout this next upcoming week or two because maybe it just takes a bit of time for them to release the bundles. Maybe they didn't want to go release these out on the very first day because they maybe didn't want to have, like, people get in the game early or whatever. I, I kind of get that a little bit, but without, like... How have they just not done a single restock basically at all? I'll give them a little bit of a benefit of the doubt at the next two weeks or so with these Ratchet and Clank bundles actually come to America and they actually do a lot of restocks. I would love that. I'd be ecstatic with that. And I hope they do. But as of right now, we've only seen these up in Europe so far. So I don't want to give them the benefit of the doubt yet. But hopefully they can prove me wrong on like Monday, Tuesday next week. So let me go dive into the actual proper rent here. Guys, Ratchet and Clank. This is one of my, I played the game already. I have a PS5. I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky that I have one. I know a lot of you guys out there are still trying to get one. This game is phenomenal. It's a very, very good game. It's been a great game. And I love the fact that I even have my PlayStation 5. And I'm thankful that I could even go and afford it and get one. And I was lucky enough to get one. But the major issue is why on earth has Sony not been flooding the market for consoles these past three weeks? We have had one of the driest periods of actual console restocks. We've seen a little bit of Xboxes at least, but right now, you know, most of you guys are more on the PS5 focus, and we have seen barely anything. As I mentioned in the start of the video, we saw like a few little baby drops, but even some of the bigger retailers that we were expecting, like GameStop, a Walmart, or even like an Amazon restock, a PlayStation Direct where you can literally buy the consoles from Sony themselves, have been dry and i don't understand the marketing i don't understand the issues i don't understand the planning because why on earth are you releasing probably the biggest game of the year 
I will probably more so say that just because we don't know what's coming out in E3 yet. And also it's been a lot of kind of a weird year for games. So don't, don't anyone who's like a big <laughs> Xbox fan or PC fan, don't blame me. But like, this is probably gonna be one of the more focused, big AAA games that are coming out this year. And if anyone who's actually had a PlayStation 5, we have barely had any proper exclusives throughout the past like six months of the console. We did have Demon Souls, that was kind of fun. Don't we had Miles Morales, but that was also on the PS4. We have Returnal, but that was kind of an unproven AAA. And this is from a beloved IP that people have been playing and growing up with their entire lives. And there are so many people out there. I've had real life friends, I've had people on Twitter, people coming to my Twitch stream, all hoping that there is just any restock anywhere so they could actually go and play Ratchet and Clank. And to me, it's been one of the most disappointing past like two or three weeks because everything has been so dry. And you would think from a normal marketing perspective, now, Sony wants to go and flood the markets around Christmas time because they know people are going to buy the consoles or whatever. Great. But what about when there's an actual game out that people want to play? You would think you'd want to be going and doing restocks nonstop, like four days of PS Directs, flooding the market, flooding consoles, getting everyone consoles, and everyone who's been waiting for the past six months and make them ecstatic that they finally get their consoles. And then that same day they get the console, or even that, like, even before the console even arrives, they're so hyped up, they'll go and pre-order and buy the game buy it on amazon buy it on best buy whatever it is and the fact that we did not go and see sony do that feels like one of the biggest mistakes i've seen them do now granted if there's more restocks literally on monday it will still be selling instantaneously i'm sure tuesday wednesday thursday all those days would be great for restocks if we do see these ranch and clink bundles we mentioned but i just don't believe now that there's so many people missing out throughout this entire weekend where they just will not be able to go and play the game and for me i love the game and i don't want to say that to like sound like i'm rubbing that in that you guys don't have your consoles because that's why i make like five videos a day because i want you guys to get your consoles because i know how it feels like when you see everyone else having fun playing games you can't play it so this just disappoints me so much and i feel like sony just made a massive mistake i'm just not sure why they were doing so many random restocks in other random regions as america was so so just dry now i do believe other places like the uk you know india china they deserve consoles 100 but how on earth do you not even do a playstation direct how on earth are they having bundles arrive up in europe before they even arrive in america we have not seen a single retailer so far actually do a proper restock with all these like proper from sony bundles we made a video on earlier on today and the marketing just doesn't make sense it really really just doesn't this would be like the equivalent of like microsoft selling you know halo and they just don't even do a restock for the whole entire month before then like why not at least go introduce like pre-orders or something like that so people that are really hyped up and really loyal to your game and fan base can actually at least be like hey at least i'm order 120,000, i i'll get it like next month but at least i know i have it at least i know i'm gonna get it like i just don't understand why sony of all times of all times since we've been tracking all this stuff for the past six months they were not going overdrive and releasing consoles and releasing everything now, as I mentioned at the start of video, we might be lucky, and they may have just been more so saving consoles for the bundles we keep on mentioning, and maybe throughout the next, like, two or three weeks, we'll have a very, very good restock wave where we get a bunch of consoles. Maybe a lot of these big retailers are selling stuff. Like, we'll see Walmart and Best Buy and Amazon, all these places, selling these honestly kind of cool bundles because we're gonna probably buy the ranch and clean came anyway and it's kind of just a double whammy because then these retailers are making more money like it makes sense i totally get it i understand why they would want to wait if they're waiting for the stock for it but how are the logistics this bad how do all these retailers not like we didn't even know about these bundles until like today officially we have not even seen sony do an official like announcement that this is even coming the only reason why we know this exists is because we keep on tracking le like all these leaks looking at literal apis on the websites and looking at the prices and we got thankfully like lucky enough that we saw them restock last night in europe but like we didn't even see sony even mention that these things are even going to be things in the first place like i just don't understand what the marketing is going on now once again i understand it's hard with the pandemic it's hard semiconductors sony's trying their best we've had really good restock waves this time and kind of gone on and i imagine with these brand new bundles we'll have a really good next like two three weeks i'd imagine almost without a doubt especially because it's been so long so all these retailers are probably building up stock and like you know hoarding stock or probably some really good nice events and hopefully a lot of people will be able to go get their restocks and drops but it just it makes it makes no sense i was really playing this game on twitch 
and the amount of messages and comments I got saying from people wishing there was a restock, wishing they had their PS5 already, wishing that like their kids or whatever had a PlayStation 5 too, because it's been so dry. And they're like, you could just tell there's desperation there. And not in a bad kind of way of desperation, more so just people out there just want to have their consoles, man. And with like, this is like the most major game, I think that Sony is probably going to release this year. Now we're not sure exactly. Maybe Horizon will have like a nice release date later on this year. It'll be big, really big or God of War or whatever. But as of right now, for the next few months this is going to be the most biggest game uh, pretty much all for AAA games unless Microsoft goes and surprises us or Nintendo throws in like a random Breath of the Wild 2 you know but like it just makes me so sad that Sony's lack of foresight and planning for this made these past few weeks such a bad restock time where the fact that people are just getting sad and giving up and like they just can't even play the game and they're seeing people like YouTubers or people who have their consoles play it and they're just getting sad like I I don't know if I'm just kind of going on a hot take over here I don't think so because I think a lot of you guys want your consoles if you guys are watching my channel a lot but this is truly just a big disappointment like i really wish they on the barest minimum could have at least announced the bundles and been like yeah we're coming to america next year because or next week <laughs> hopefully next year like next week so we can at least be hyped up for it and at least have a little bit of hope but as of right now we have only seen leaks and nothing official from sony as they're already like out in the there's floating around like people are actually getting these and ordering these already up in europe so i just don't know what sony's doing like, I truly think they've made just a massive mistake these past, like, two, three weeks on how they've been handling the stock, how they've been handling the restock, how all these retailers are just not getting stock overall. And I think it is more on Sony's end because we've seen time and time and time again that the retailers say Sony's the one that's in control of this stuff and manages all this stuff. So, I don't know. You guys can leave your thoughts down below. I just want to kind of get my feelings out here because I'm just disappointed for you guys. And it makes me sad because as a restock channel, like, my content is when there's restocks. That's good news. So you guys might be thinking, oh, Scrubby doesn't like restocks. I love it because then you guys get excited. You guys get happy. And that's pretty much my main purpose of this because I don't make any money off of YouTube anyway. Like, I don't care if I get more views or less views. I just want you guys to get your consoles. Maybe I'll care about views in the future if I do more YouTube stuff. But for now, in the past six months, I just want you guys to get your stuff. So I don't know. I'm like, I'm just disappointed in Sony. I really think they messed up bad, especially with this pre ratchet and clang stuff. I really think this should have been better. I really think there should have been flooding consoles everywhere. We did see a lot of UK stuff, which is fun, but like, this is just a disappointment, man. I. I don't know, man. I just hope Sony will go and come in clutch these next two weeks. Hopefully, we'll actually see these Ratchet and Clank bundles in stores. And you want to what? Maybe I'm going to pray to God out there that maybe we'll see some walk-ins or something to hopefully help us on out. But I'm disappointed. Leave your thoughts down below. Give your comments down below. Sorry for rant videos. I don't really like ranting too much. But just my honest thoughts. I just think it's dumb. I just really think it's dumb that they just haven't been doing more. So leave a like if you guys want to. Sub for the giveaway. I hope one of you guys that really want to play Ratchet and Clank wins it whenever it's going to be announced really soon. Probably the next like two, three weeks or something like that. Amazon links down below for the controllers consoles warehouse stuff make sure you guys are stuff for that giveaway and use the link tree links for bonus entries got that weeble sign for that weeble make free money might as well coinbase you guys go buy 100 hours worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go get free bitcoin and we just got that twitter twitch down below if you guys want to follow but I'm, I'm just sad hopefully sony doesn't go and disappoint us more i'm just i'm just disappointed man so maybe monday maybe this weekend we'll come in clutch fingers crossed all right love you guys hopefully you guys can get your console soon i'm gonna try my best to help you guys out and hopefully you guys actually do have your consoles hope you guys are enjoying ratchet and clink love you guys